Aren't our computers incredible? From the ones that allow us to create and achieve amazing things, to the tiny ones that we carry around in our pockets. It's hard to imagine life without them. Well, someone who imagined computers before they even existed was a man called Alan Turing. Turing was a genius. He was a war hero and he was also gay. Alan Turing was born in London in 1912 and as a child, it soon became clear that he was a natural genius because Turing was able to solve advanced mathematical and scientific problems before he had even been taught how. In 1935, whilst he was a student at King's College in Cambridgeshire, he came up with an idea. An idea of a machine which could very carefully follow rules and deliver an output. Basically, in his head, Turing had come up with the backbone for what we now call Turing machines, or as you might know them, computers. In fact, Turing is largely considered responsible for laying down the foundations of modern computing. Also, Turing was so smart that he was recruited by the British government during World War II to help crack and decode enemy messages. But it wasn't an easy task at all. Enemy messages were sent via machines called Enigmas, and they were so complex that they were thought of as impossible to crack. However, this didn't stop Turing. He and his team spent years working on their own machine, which eventually managed to decode the enigmas and allowed enemy messages to be read and understood. Turing's machine gave Britain a huge insight into enemy movements, and it became a vital tool which eventually helped lead Britain to victory. It is thought that thanks to Turing, his team, and their Enigma code-breaking machine, that World War II ended two years earlier than expected. And that means that an estimated 14 million lives were saved. Now, you'd think Turin would have been praised as a hero, but he wasn't, because all of his work had to be kept secret. In fact, the public only learned of his truly incredible achievements during the mid-1970s. No, Turin wasn't treated as a hero. Actually, it was quite the opposite. Later in life, Turin was treated as a criminal. You see, Turin lived at a time when gay people were not treated fairly. In fact, it's hard to believe, but Turin lived at a time when being gay was illegal. In 1952, Turin was arrested and convicted. He was given a choice, prison or undergo chemical treatment to try and fix his homosexuality. And I'm going to stop right there to make sure that you fully understand that no amount of treatment can fix a person's homosexuality. And that is because being gay is not, never will be, and never was something that needs to be fixed. If only they knew this back then, maybe things might have been different. The chemical treatment Turin had to face was unfair and traumatic. And sadly, in 1954, it was determined that Turin had taken his own life by taking a bite of an apple laced with poison. He was only 41 years old at the time. Can you imagine the incredible creations he may have gone on to invent? Can you imagine how many more people he could have helped? I guess we'll never know. Eventually, in 2009, almost 60 years later, when laws and attitudes towards LGBT plus people had drastically changed, an apology was issued by the then Prime Minister for the appalling treatment Turin received. And in 2013, Queen Elizabeth II herself signed a pardon for Turin's conviction. These apologies and gestures may have restored his name, but they could never make up for the loss of such an incredible individual. Which is why we cannot let this happen again. Now, it's not easy to think about, but there are still some parts of the world today where being LGBT plus is illegal. And the punishments are just as horrible as what Turin had to face, if not worse. But what can we do? Can we do anything? Well, 
we can set a good example. We can show the rest of the world how we accept everyone for who they are. We can try to stand up for those who are not being treated fairly. And we can remind each other that the world needs all of us to help make it a better place. Hey everyone, thanks for watching our video. We hope you like it. And if you do, please share it. And remember, you can help us to make even more videos like this by visiting poppinoli.com forward slash donate. And don't forget to check out our inclusive children's books too.